What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to open up this Bakugan Geogon Rising Shark Tar Ultra Starter Pack. So let's get started guys. That's right guys. Today we got another Bakugan Geogon Rising opening. Today we have this Pyrus Shark Tar Ultra Starter Pack. As you guys can see we got the Shark Tar himself. We got two other Bakugans. We'll take a look at them back here. We got a Dragonoid and a Pinsator. Very cool. And it looks like we got a Gate Guard in this one. So I'm excited for that because I like collecting those. Let's open up this uh, starter pack and let's see all the stats of these Bakugans. Let's see if they're good. I'm just excited because these are new Bakugan. I'm just going to have to rip this open like this. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I'm just excited. These are all new from Geogun Rising, of course. There we go. And Shark Tart looks really, really cool. Okay, let's take a look at the cards first. Okay, so we'll take a look at this little bag first. Here's where we have all the uh, character cards. I think some action cards as well. And then and the cores as well. So let's see. Yep, we got the cores. We got a guide, I think. Yep, how to play the game. We got how to close shark tar and then this is the new checklist which is very cool look at all these new bakugan very nice and then the geogons as well by paragon is probably oh I i've only opened a few but by paragon is uh it's one of the best ones in my opinion okay so let's take a look at the action cards first so here we have the action cards we have three action cards and one gate card here's the first one Body Crusher, one energy, minus four attack, and you get to scan, which is pretty cool. That's a new symbol for uh, Secrets of the Geogun. That new set, the newest set, Searing Strike, Fusion Onslaught. Okay, pretty cool. And then here we have the Gate card itself, which is Pegatrix. Very nice. I always see this guy in the stores. I never pick him up. I'm not sure if I should, but... There's the gate card. Very nice. Let's see. Let's take a look at the cores first, actually. Here we have all the cores. Let's see if we have any new ones. And it looks like we do. Here's a shield. Plus 400 to Pyrus and Ventus. That's a new one. So that's pretty cool. New, uh, more options. We have a fist. Plus 100B. Pyrus and Aquos get plus 3. I think that's also new. 100B and Darkest and Ventus. Plus 3. Another fist. Here we have a magic shield, minus 500B, and a trap. I don't really like using traps. Here we have regular shield, plus 300B. And then another fist, minus 3 attack. Okay, pretty cool cores. Uh, I think there was only like a couple that were pretty good. Now let's take out the Bakugan. Here we have Pinsator. This is Dragonoid. And the third Bakugan is Shark Tart himself. I think I'm saying it weird, but it's Shark Tar. It's it's a little weird to say. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at. Okay, so we'll take a look at Dragonoid first. Here is Dragonoid, Chaos Dragonoid, 600B and four attack. Pretty decent, both in B and attack. They're um, yeah, they're decent. And then if you win with Dragonoid, you get uh, Scan, which is take a look at the top card of your deck. If you like it, you can leave it on top or you could put it on the bottom. The bad thing about it is that it does carry double green fist. And I personally don't like playing double green. But, I mean, there's ways you can do it. Uh, pretty cool Bakugan though. 604. It's it's decent. And here it is. This is the Dragonoid. You can tell that we have the wings right here. Very nice. Let's open it up. Let's roll it onto a core and see if we can open up this Dragonoid. Okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Bro, there we go. Very nice. I I already opened. I think I have two of these Dragonoids already. I have a Darkest and an Arliss, and now I have the Chaos. So I'm collecting all the Dragonoids basically. Very nice. I really like this Dragonoid. Um, I think they're doing a a better job with these than with the last ones. I feel like these look a lot better, especially Dragonoid. He just looks like an Ultra. It keeps saying it just because it, he looks very very complicated looks very big and i just like how he looks very nice okay so up next 
we got okay so here we have pincator very cool bakugan i feel like this is going to be one of my favorites just um just because of how it looks it looks really cool to me um but this one the darkest 100b which is the lowest that you can have on a bakugan i don't think a bakugan can have zero so i think 100 is the lowest um but that's not his strength his strength is the attack seven attack so you're gonna have to put this guy in a damage deck that way you win battles with high damage um yeah that's that's its purpose because b power you're not gonna win he does carry a magic shield and a green fist so at least he carries a magic shield which could be pretty good but you're you're gonna want to stay with that attack you're gonna you're gonna want this guy in an attacking or a damage deck just because the b power is just too low we're gonna put that back there and now let's take a look at the bago gun itself here it is okay i already have a pinstator as well and i really like the design as well i feel like a lot of these bakugan just have amazing designs let's open them up we'll put that there and let's see if we can roll them onto this core i think it's this way all right here we go three two one bro there he is he fell down but very cool just look at that he has like the stinger coming up right there very very nice and i think you could put the feet or the legs out there you go you could put the feet out like that and it just looks really cool i really like pinsator probably one of my favorites from um geogun rising so far very cool bakugan as well what do you guys think of this bakugan leave it down in the comments and last but not least you guys already see him right there it is shark tar ultra 700b one attack so very low attack he does carry double shield which could be very nice that's like that's basically a plus 400 so he will get up to 1100 but if you do carry the shield he gets double strike which could be very nice but you need to get more attack if you want to use that double strike because double strike will give you double the attack and one attack doubled is only two so that's still super low um but the B power is pretty nice. I mean, it's Pyrus. It could be very good. There's a lot of cards that help Pyrus. But what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think of these Bakugan, these new Bakugan. Let me know in the comments. I really want to know. I'll read every comment. And then here he is. Again, the Bakugan just look cool. He literally looks like a shark. Very, very nice. He has like the mouth right there open. You could even close it if you want. And then we got the fin as well. Very nice. I really like this Bakugan as well. We got the B power all the way in the bottom. Right there. Very cool. I feel like the Pyrus colors don't do it justice. I feel like if I had the Aquos one. Or maybe like a... I feel like the RLS would look cool too. But this Pyrus. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I feel like the Aquos would just look a lot better. To finish off the video. Let's roll Shark Tar onto a core to see what movement it does three two one raw okay so it jumps it does a really fast jump forward and then it lands straight up like this with the core on its back very cool like i said all these bakugan just look very cool uh to me the dragonoid just looks very nice very complex the pinsator very nice i just like the design of it and then Shar shard tar looks amazing what do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments and make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. I got a lot of Geogun content coming up. I even, for some reason, I was able to find the singles of the Geoguns. So I'm excited for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.